uh, he is a case of seven days old right central retinal RD thrombosis. Uh, I am giving stellate ganglion block and I have marked the cricoid cartilage here. This is the cricoid cartilage, this is the thyroid cartilage. Since the height is quite good, so I have taken a point at the lower border of the cricoid cartilage just medial to the external cleidomastoid muscle. So this is the external cleidomastoid. This is the external jugular vein here. I am repeating. This is the thyroid cartilage. This is the cricoid cartilage. And I have taken a point for entry of the needle just at the lower border of the cricoid cartilage medial to the external cleidomastoid. I have taken 5 ml of 0.25% BPV cane. Just protect the sternocleidomastoid. This is the entry point for the slit ganglion block. So just protect the sternocleidomastoid muscle laterally. Here you can palpate the pulsation of the carotid artery. Insert the needle. Now this is striked at the C6 transverse process, just stabilize it. Stabilize it, aspirate, inject, right and wait. See the touching the peristome is painful so I have injected one to one to two drops of this local acidic solution and keep watch on the syringe for any blood inject slowly aspirate inject and rotate the syringe in so many planes again aspirate and then inject there should not be any blood aspirate I am again rotating and then injecting, aspirating, and then injecting, aspirate, and then inject. So I have given about 5.5 ml of BPB cane and massage this area. Now the block is complete. Now on examination, I have found that this side of the cheek is much much warmer than the left side because I have given the block here. And you can notice uh, the difference in the aperture. There is mild uh, uh, ptosis uh, because of. And you can also notice the, the pupillary diameter is less as compared to the left side. And now I am checking is there any, any, any congestion in the conjunctiva. So let us see. Now you can see the congestion is, is a little more on the right side. So that indicates a development of Horner syndrome. Horner syndrome again indicate uh, uh, the successful block of the stellate ganglion. And you can notice the, the, the ptosis on the right side. This is the part of uh, Horner syndrome. So Horner syndrome, there is a ptosis, there is conjunctival injection or congestion and of course the meiosis. And uh, peak skin can notice the anhydrosis on this side as compared to the normal side. So this is a success block and let us see the outcome in this case of central retinal artery thrombosis. He is a case of uh, sudden vision loss on the in the right eye and uh, for this condition I have given stellate ganglion block about 16 days back and with the result he is now able to see the movement of the hand from the right eye and this is the second time I am going to so I have taken 2.5 ml of BPB cane and 2.5 ml of normal saline and half ml of methylpredisolone. Now I am going to detect the external cleidomastoid laterally and from the puncture point 
I am inserting the needle. The needle would likely to strike the transverse process of C6 vertebra here. Rotate, aspirate, inject, rotate to avoid any possibility of accidental intravascular injection. Now I have completed the block.